Hey everybody, my name is Fork, as you know down new, and I would like to welcome you to Circuit Breakers! This is a very early build of a game that's currently on Kickstarter, and this game is created by Triv... Triv... Triversk. That's how I think you pronounce that. But, this is a four-player... Four-player, uh, top-down shmup. Right now, it's just me. And quite simply, it's it's a, it's a twin six shooter. You come in here, you shoot, you shoot your twin six. You can use the D pad or the stick, and you can use the stick or the face buttons. It's actually really cool, and I really like that. Um, when I played this at SGC, they actually had it running on SNES controllers, so that was really cool. So the way this game works, each room gets harder and harder. You don't get more enemies, but they come at you faster. And the way the actual mechanics work are so anytime you get hit or miss a shot your weapon levels down you level it up by picking up these crystals and, and, and not getting hit and holy crap I this is my first time actually playing it alone it's a little it's, it's hard it is hard but I feel like I picked a, a decent enough character okay let's go back to the main menu and pick another character maybe we can get past the, the first area of the game yeah, let's do the rocket launcher. That's what I'm talking about. Tip, 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 tip. I really like the... The developers and this game have a very tongue-in-cheek attitude about the whole thing. <laughs> I just... I, I really like that. When I was talking to them, it, it was pretty clear that this is just a group of guys that are making a game that they want to play. You know, everything, everything about them, the way they presented themselves, the way they present the game, they're just out to make a game that's a good time, and I feel like so far they've done a pretty good job of that. Things that they're on Kickstarter for right now are more, are things like bosses, more rooms, more characters, and they, I, I, I heard some, some hints, some possible hints of online multiplayer, but I, that has not been promised or anything. That said, this with with four friends sitting on a couch right next to each other, it's ridiculously fun. The faster you get through a room, the better your score is. Your friends can come in and revive you. Um, I feel like it's almost required, at, at least in this current version, that you have somebody with you. Um, and this is hard. But I think I can get out of there and do the thing. Let's let's bust these crates open. Get some get some level ups. Get some level ups. And maybe, maybe we can learn to win. I gotta pay attention to my health. Gotta pay attention to my levels. There's a lot that you gotta, you gotta kind of pay attention to here, especially when you're playing alone. It honestly feels very different from when I, like, I, I'm pretty sure I said it already, but it's, it's very different. And there are different enemies coming out each time, which is good. Oh god. Oh god, so I, I love the visual style. It's a very, very, very classic pixel, pixel arty feel. Uh, the sounds are pretty good too. I just hope that they get more and louder music and sort of manage to, oh god, okay, and, and manage to, to balance it better. Let's go to the next room, let's go, let's go, let's go. So you don't actually need to kill every single enemy in the room. Go, what? You don't actually need to kill every enemy in the room. You just need to kill enough to, to reach a certain score. Oh god. Oh god, those are bombs! I forgot about the red dudes! I forgot that the red dudes are totally bombs. This is bad. Uh, eh, come on. Oh god. Oh my god, look at how many of them there are! Ah! <laughs> It's so loud for me right now that you you probably are actually picking this up from the headphones. <laughs> like the headphones are probably coming through on the on the mic. It's so loud. I can't even I can't even hear myself thunk. I don't know what I need to do. I can't I can't just go in there. Cause they'll okay, good. Help, I'm stuck in a text track. I love these tooltips. Oh! I love the tooltips that they've got going on. Oh, boom, 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 boom. Okay, come on. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. You can't beat me. I'm the best. I think I found the weapon that I like, the shotgun. So not only do more, the enemies don't, um, not, not more enemies, but they come at you more aggressively and they spawn faster, making it just, 
infinitely more chaotic as you can see from the bullet hell laid out before me. It's not, it's, you know, it's, it's dangerous to go alone. Take friends, take friends, take friends and take mini guns. Oh God, come on, come on, let me go, let me go, let me go, let me out, oh my God. Holy crap. This is nuts! Come on, die, all of you! All of you die! Come on, keep dying, keep dying, give me, give me all the, give me all the level ups. Good, thank you. Uh, uh, got you, got you all, all you punks getting the bucket. Holy crap! So I don't know how many rooms there are in this current build. Oh god, I don't even know if there's a final boss or if they honestly just expect you to, let me go. Or if they honestly just expect you to kick the bucket before you actually get very far. But I'm I'm having a lot of fun right now. This is ridiculous. And loud. Did I did I pitch in that? It's loud. So I definitely hope that they keep this going for it. I hope that they add a bit of a plot so that it's not just, you know, go in, kill dudes, because I mean there are other games that are just go and kill dudes, like Left 4 Dead, all you do is kill zombies in that game. But it manages it to be fun and interesting and replayable and, and honestly it keeps people hooked because of the plot and some of the the more challenging elements to the game. So I hope that they take some keys, some more keys from Left 4 Dead and add some kind of a plot to the game. Um, especially if the characters were to like interact with each other, I think that would be really cool and that has a lot of potential to make this a really really interesting game. Now, right now, each of the characters, they've got a different weapon, but I believe they said... They, they may have changed their mind on this, but I believe they said that they were planning on every character being able to use the same weapon. Honestly, I hope that they don't do that. I like how the characters are very distinct right down to their playstyles and their weapons. But at, at the same time, I feel like it would be cool to be able to go in with everybody having rocket launchers or everybody having a shotgun. I think that that'd be really cool, but I mean, the way to do that, in my opinion, would be to just let multiple people pick a character. That's, in, in my opinion, that's the that's the more interesting way to go about it. Let's, what? What? Why did I die? I was in the, I guess because one of them hit me. Whatever. Let's go ahead and go back to the start menu. I think we've got one more character. Let's see, we did the machine gun, we did the shotgun, we did the rocket launcher. Ah, the laser. The laser. Let's do this. So after this step, we will go ahead and call that it for this episode. Oh, this is a... This is a weird gun. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. Though it does a lot of damage. Especially when they line up between everybody. And it looks like that one might be kind of AOE. I don't know, I can't really t I can't- I don't- I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Uh, uh, bam. It's kind of hard to- to get hits with this one. I would definitely work on improving the- it, 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 This doesn't feel like a very fun gun to use, but maybe- maybe somebody will like it. I just don't feel like I'm doing as much as I was doing with the other guns, and it's hard to- Like, I feel like I need to be trying to hit specific enemies, and it's just- it doesn't- it doesn't really work out. But there you have it. That is Circuit Breakers, the game that I highly recommend you check out on Kickstarter. There's a link to its Kickstarter page down in the description below, so go down there and give it a click. At the time of um, this posting, they have about five days left, so you should definitely check this out. And if this is something that you can get behind, that you if you want to sit on your couch or in front of your computer with your friends playing this game, then you should definitely back it and spread the word of this as much as you can. Share this video around. Let's help them. Let's help them get that Kickstarter goal, guys. All right, I'm gonna keep playing, and I'm gonna say I'll see you guys next time. Bye.